Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I am your coach DPP coming to you live. I just have a few things that I want to share with you guys because we have so much going on this month with all the things that you guys are trying to do with earning the incentive trip. This is a great time guys for you guys to do this. So I want to see if I can help you guys with self-doubt because I, I find that so many consultants reach out to me because of the things that they have yet to overcome. Now, if you're a brand new consultant, you have a starter kit. I want you guys to be excited about sharing that kit. It is so exciting. I remember when I got my first kit, like, oh my goodness, it, well, I signed up two days before Christmas. So it felt like Christmas to me, two days before Christmas, all the things. It came to me with, it had um, a consultant guide in it, but I really didn't know what I need to do with that kit. But I knew I was just real excited. We had these really big jars of scent testers in there. So I was like real thrilled. Like I had something to share with people so they could smell them. So guys, when you get your starter kit, those are testers. Those are not samples. I've heard consultants say, D, what, I, what do I do with these? These are testers so people can smell them. You want to help get those under the noses of your customers or potential customers. And you can go live with those testers. So you can actually smell the testers on live video so you can get excited and tell people what it is that you like most about those. And if you got kids, go live with your kids in your uh, video share, showing off the testers and the warmers and all the things that you got in your kit. Now, um, I want to say this, guys. I've had, I tried to take note of things as I get them so I can remember how to address these. I want you guys to get in the habit of using your resources. One resource is your workstation. It's not going to break. It's not going to hurt you guys. I want you to get in the habit of using it. I want you to log into your workstation and just play around with it and become familiar with it. You don't have to memorize it. I'm not telling you to memorize, but I want you to become familiar with it. I want you to become familiar with your PWS. That's your website. Become familiar with it and learn the different places that you can find things. You don't have to memorize it, but I want you to become familiar with it. Do you got a section there for your combo and save? You have a section in there for your your the clearance section. You got I me. Mean, you have the LTOs is right there. Even verbiage is there because I've heard consultants say, "I don't know what to say, guys." Verbiage is right there on your PWS. If you don't have anything that you can think of to share, go to your PWS. There's verbiage right there. There's a description of everything that we have there. Since he has done an amazing job with that. There's also a consulting group on Facebook, guys. There's a Sensi Consulting Group on Facebook. I want you guys to go and follow that page, like that page um, for all consultants. And at the end of, of the month, there is a um, end of the month summary where go live. The president of Sensi is going to go live. Uh, the owners of Sensi, when they're here, they go live in that group. So you want to follow that group. There's so many different places, guys, that you can grab information. There's lots of information here in the guides and in the albums. I'm trying to help you guys to know where your things are. YouTube, YouTube, guys has a lot of information. And I see a lot of consultants saying, well, how do you do this? Well, how do you do this? I don't know what this is, guys. I'm telling you, YouTube has a source of, I mean, has so much information out there. You can be on information overload. I want you guys to become self-sufficient because if you can't reach somebody, I want you to know what things are. Go to YouTube. I taught myself how to do so much on YouTube. When we do calls, when we do training, I hear a lot of people saying, well, I don't know how to do parties. Well, I don't know how to do um, whatever. Go to YouTube, guys. You can even do a specific search on YouTube for anything that you need. It can be the compensation plan. It can be parties. Uh, it can be flyers. It can be uh, basket parties, uh, fundraisers. Did I say that? Joining all the things right on YouTube, guys. 
I am, whenever you guys ask me something, guess where I'm going? I'm going to YouTube because that's where it is. You can even Google things. There's so much, there are things on Pinterest, everywhere. There's so much information out here, guys. Um, but I want you guys to get in the habit of trying things. So many of you are afraid to try things. That's the only way you're going to learn is to try. If you don't try, you will not make mistakes, and we learn from our mistakes. If you're not willing to try, you're not going to find the way to do it or the right way to do it. I made so many mistakes, guys, along the way. You know I have. If I've been in the business for 13 years, guys, I made a lot of mistakes. I've gotten emails from compliance because they're there to help educate us, not to, not to do this. They're not trying to spank us. They're trying to educate us. So I've gotten lots of emails from compliance because of something I did not know. So as we go through this process, guys, of learning, but again, you're not going to learn until you try. I've heard many people say, uh, I don't want to go live because I don't have a nice background or something like that. Guys, I don't have an office. I don't. I'm all, my house my whole house is the office. I'm all over the place in my house. I don't have an office. I don't want you guys to get in the habit of not doing things because you don't have a perfect setup. I don't have a perfect setup. During uh, 2020, I went to a Walmart and bought this little white thing behind me and I put warmers on it so I can go live. I don't have them there. I don't. I took that stuff down because I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing things differently. If I need to go live with my products, I can put it back up there. But I'm doing face-to-face -face events now, so I haven't had to do that. So, um, but I want you guys to get in the habit of trying things. But now what I do, I do go live with my, my products as they come in. I'm going live with my products so people can see the new stuff. Uh, I even do little videos that I put on uh, in my stories, in my reels, so you guys can use it. I even do that. I want you guys to get in the habit of trying things. When you don't try, you never learn. When you don't try, you don't grow. That's how we grow, guys. We grow by trying. We grow by making mistakes. I remember when I first joined Sensi Guys, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to talk to. I would always ask for referrals. Never, ever be afraid to ask for help. Never, ever be afraid to ask for referrals. That's how we learn. That's how we grow, guys. As I get one customer, I'll say, by the way, do you know somebody else I can talk to? Start creating that list of places to go. Guys, you wouldn't believe some of the places that I went to when I joined. I'm just, I'm not going to even tell you some of the places that I've been and some of the things that I did because I was willing to go out there to get my name out there. I wanted to get my name out there so people can know what Cincy was because they didn't know. They didn't know what Cincy was. I wasn't working Cincy on Facebook when I joined, guys. I didn't know how to do it. But as time, as time passed, I started to learn how to do things. I didn't even know how to copy and paste. When I joined Cincy, I did not know how to copy and paste. I learned how to do these things since I've been a Cincy consultant. I didn't know how to do videos when I joined Cincy. I learned since I've been a consultant. You learn these things, guys. Okay, this has been a big question right here. This is my business card inside of a plastic bag with a little piece of wax. And this has been gold for me, guys. I have gotten so many new team members with this right here. Something as simple as a business card and a piece of wax. I pass this out when I'm out and about. When I, when I'm, it doesn't matter where I am, a grocery store, at the doctor's office, and when I, my daughter was in school, in the carpool line, wherever I was, in the airport, in the restaurants, at my events, people are going to get this. I've had people to ask me, well, what if the kit changed? I'm not worried about that. Because whoever you're handing this out to, they don't know what that is. They don't even know the difference. And all kits vary anyway. They don't know. I've had, and I try to pass these out frequently. So it doesn't really matter. Because again, remember the people that you're giving it to, they don't know the difference. So... When you doubt yourself about what's happening, you won't do it. That's what I find that happens. When you doubt yourself, you won't do anything, guys. Stop stop doubting yourself. Stop overthinking it. I've also had consultants ask me, 
does this wax melt on your car? It does sometimes. Now, I pass them out so fast, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it doesn't because I give them out so fast. But I have had it to melt sometimes. Remember, guys, it's the smell that sells. As long as my information is legible, that's all I'm concerned about. Because the ultimate goal is to get this in somebody's hand so I can tell them to open this up and place it in the car so it can make the car smell good. That's the ultimate goal. So I don't worry about it. If it melts, I mean, I don't want it to. But if it does, I'm not going to repackage this. Only time I repackage this is that it's gotten all warped and, and doesn't look good and all smash looking. That's the only time I redone them. Other than that, I pass these bad boys out. As a matter of fact, if it, if it melts a little bit, it smells even better. It's the smell that fell. So stop overthinking things, guys. I want you to start taking action. Start doing things. Stop doubting yourself. Because I was one. I used to doubt myself. So the more I doubted myself, the, the, the less I did. I doubted myself for seven years, guys. I want you to get out of your own way. Stop doubting yourself. Because if you keep doubting yourself, you will not earn trips. You will not promote. You will not get team members. You will not get people to book a party if you keep doubting yourself. You guys are amazing. And you got to look in the mirror and tell yourself that. If you're not telling yourself that, if you're not doing the things, things won't happen. But guys, when you try something, what if you fly? What if you earned the, the commissions that you want to earn? You won't know that until you try. Just try it. You can't mess up too bad. Like I've heard people say, well, uh, can I get this product at a discount when I, when I put this in my workstation at a, as, as an order, as a free and half off? Just plug it in there and see, guys. It's not going to break anything. Any orders that you put in will save. But if it won't take, that means it's not acceptable. Don't be afraid to try something. Try it. Put it in there. Plug it in. Even You can even go in there and do a mock party in your workstation. It's not going to break, guys. Play around with things. It will not break. I promise you it won't break. You can play around with it and give people ideas about what they can get for free and half off. But guys, what I want to say for those of you who are trying to earn incentive trip, you must talk to people about joining. That's a must. You have to. And you got to talk to a lot of people. Bless people, guys, with the opportunity. So many lives have changed because of Sensi, guys. I know my life has. I don't work a full-time job anymore. Cincy is my full-time job. I would not be able to see the blessings that I receive from this business if I did not try. If you're not trying things, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. I've had so many people to come to me and say, what about the video that's out there, guys? I'm going to find somebody to do something I cannot do. I am going to do photo sessions. My photo sessions, guys, is with my iPhone. You can, if you got an iPhone or Android, do a photo session with your products. Now, I have, I do have some professional photos. I do have. That is something that I choose to do as a business write-off because I want to stand out. So, guys, what are you doing to stand out? What is it about you that people need to know? What is it about the foods that you eat that people may need to know about? How you plan on set, to set and set and, uh, uh, what I want to say, stand it out. I couldn't get that out. So you, if, when you're going live, if you don't have a vibrant background, guys, you can have props. I mean, you can have, this is something I got from SFR. You know what? When, when I'm at events, I hold a bar. I hold a bar in my hand so people as they walk by, they can smell it. So you can totally hold up a prop when you go live and have something in your hand to talk about. I mean, that's just an idea. How something is going to grab somebody's attention. Because whatever you do, guys, on Facebook, you want people to slow the scroll. You want to find a way to slow the scroll. Because one thing I can say, guys, is live videos is going to get so much more attention than a still post. A still post is not going to get as much attention. But if you're going live, if you're doing a selfie, holding up your brick like that and taking a picture... That's going to help people to slow the scroll because they want to know what that, what is that? 
But if you're just sharing images all the time without you in it, and they don't know who you are, because I've heard many people say, well, you know what? I'm struggling. I can't get orders. Well, what are you doing, guys? Are you probably messaging people so they'll know that you care about them? Are you asking them how they feel? Are you wishing anybody happy birthday? I just found out something new today. I was talking to Sharita. I said, I don't get birthday notices like I used to on my Facebook uh, notification. I'm not getting them anymore. So she told me to go to the top of Facebook and type in the search birthdays. Boom. Soon as I did that, a whole list of my birthday uh, notifications came up. So I sent everybody a birthday message because I haven't sent birthday messages out in days because I didn't know where it was. So asking questions help. Doing things help. So stop second guessing yourself, guys. Just go do it. Whatever it is that you want to go do, just do it. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop trying to be perfect. Just do it. Keep it simple. There is a group that's called Keep It Simple. Go over there and find the various ways that you can work your business in the simplest way. But just do it, guys. I am, I am right the face of doubt. I, that was me. I was the face of doubt. I was the face of not want to try things. That was me, guys. That was me for seven years. Don't be me. Be you. Take a chance. Step outside, guys, and just do it. You'll find yourself earning trips. You'll find yourself earning incentives. You'll find yourself earning annual sales and your mentor when you just do it. It does not have to be perfect, but you do have to show up. What if you showed up every day? Even if it's for a few minutes. What if you shared something inspirational? What if you shared your, your uh, posts about your accomplishments? Your accomplishment could be anything, guys. It, it could be that you talked to somebody today. That could be an accomplishment. What are you sharing? Are you sharing somebody else to celebrate somebody else? Are you doing that? It doesn't have to be just you. Celebrate others. Celebrate your team members. Celebrate something your family members have done. Your kids, your grandkids, the dogs. Everybody who follow me knows everything that I share out there. Is mean, it, it means something to me. Anybody who approached me can tell you a little bit about me. If somebody look at your Facebook page, can they tell you a little bit about you? Are you sharing the things about you? about what you like to eat, the things you like to do, places you like to go. What are your goals? Do they know that? I learned a lot of stuff, guys, at SFR. I learned so much stuff. I learned more things about TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but I learned more uh, from other consultants about TikTok, things that I'm doing that I wasn't doing, and I'm using it now. Uh, on our calls, we have connection calls every Tuesday. It's just our way to connect and, and bond and get to know one another. I've learned some stuff last night because we just had one last night. Are you showing up, guys? Are you showing up to the Tuesday training? Are you showing up to the Tuesday connection calls? Are you showing up on whatever platforms are out there where you got various ways to learn things? Are you showing up? If you're not showing up, guys, there's no way you can go up. You got to show up. You have to be intentional. You got to break through the barriers. Things will always come up in our lives. Things are always happening. There's so much out there to challenge us. Things get in the way. Like today, I took my brother and my nephew to a doctor's appointment. When I got there, I was so upset because they weren't even open. Found out the doctor wasn't even there. They rescheduled our appointment or their appointment. To another day that I didn't even know about. And I'm the one who had to take him to the doctor. I was so upset. But guess what? I took a deep breath and made another appointment. And we're going to rock and roll with that. I'm not going to worry about it. it. It disrupt my day because I've got so much to do because I'm working on a big fundraising event. But that's okay. But on my way to the appointment, I made a TikTok video. I don't know that I would have done that had it not been for the appointment that they did not have, but I did. I saved it as a draft. I'm going to add more to it later. So I, I took advantage of the time that I had. So how often do you take advantage of the time that you have, guys? 
What if you can just go out there and do the things to make a difference? What if you go out there and try to bless somebody's life today? How many lives can you change? Talk about that. Talk about the lives that you touched. A couple of months ago, a young lady came to my house to groom the dog. And she's a young lady. She's so sweet. And she noticed our collection of Scentsy Buddies that she, she exited. And we talked about Disney. I found out that she loved Disney. So how many people are you connecting with? How many people are you getting to know? So I was able to get to know Leah. That's her name. That's a dog groomer. Her name is Leah. Found out they had just come back from Disney. She's got a little girl who's five years old. Same age as my grand princess, Rome. I know that Leah's little princess went to school yesterday for the first day. She's in 5K. I know that. So when Leah was at my house for the first time, I blessed her with the opportunity. She is only $200 away from her first promotion, guys. And as I was talking to her yesterday about, she, I know she loved Orlando. I told her, I said, girl, you know that you can earn a trip to Orlando since I know you love this. She said, yeah, I saw that. I said, all you got to do is get some people to join your team. She said, I've been working on that. I said, let's do this together. I'm going to help you. So not only did I bless her with the opportunity to join, she's so close to her first promotion, but now she's looking at growing her team. So guys, how many people are you going to go out there and bless with the opportunity? Whenever somebody come to my house, I'm giving them a gift. Any service person coming to my house, guys, they're getting a room spray. It can be UPS. It can be FedEx. It can be somebody servicing my units, my air conditioning unit, the burglar alarm, anything. Wash my car. It doesn't matter. They're getting a room spray. So how many lives are you going to change when people come to your house? How many lives are you going to change when you go out there and you meet a stranger in the grocery store? How many lives are you going to change? I've gotten so many new team members by doing the things that I'm telling you because I'm stepping out. But in my mind, I'm trying to look to see how many lives I can change because since he truly has been a blessing to me and my family, it's helped me in so many ways. My brother Jeff is autistic. I get to spend more time with him. I have to help him in many ways. My nephew is autistic. I raise him too. I take care of both of them. They both live with me. Mama is in a nursing home. I take care of mama. Since he has 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 been there for me to give me the flexibility to take care of them. That's a lot of work, guys, being a caregiver. A lot of work. And I'm a mother. And a grandmother. So my plate is full. So I worked since he for 13 years, but of, of 11 of those years, really about 11 and a half of those years, I worked another job. So those of you who are busy working jobs full time, that was me. I did all of that. And I was a caregiver and a mother. I did all of that. And promoted to the highest title with Cincy while doing all of that. So you guys can totally do this. It's all about what you want. Go for what you want. And you have to work, you have to work a little extra to get the extra. So I knew at some point that I wanted to be full-time Cincy because I need that time. I need that flexibility to do all the things I need to do. But in order for you to earn trips, guys, you've got to do extra because you're going to be rewarded with extra. So just know you need to do a little bit more to get that extra. But it's so rewarding. I promise you guys, you're going to be so glad you did it because once you do it one time, you're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep doing it. When you can get back, when you get that chance to reap those rewards and you get back, you get a chance to see this is real life. This is something I wouldn't have been able to do. All because I have faith in me. So have faith in you. We have faith in you, but you need to have faith in you. I want you guys to go out there and jump. I want you to jump. I want you to go out there and, and I, want, I challenge you as Coach DPP coming to you guys. I'm your accountability partner. I challenge you to jump. It's not going to kill you. I've jumped so many times, guys. I'm still jumping. I'm still learning. I'm still doing things. And we're still here. Let's go, guys. Let's do this together. Let's go. I challenge you to jump. Love you guys. 
I really do mean it. I love you so much, but let's jump. Let's do this, guys. Bye. <laughs>